Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equations with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem solve x squared d squared minus 2xd plus 2 into y equals to x plus 1 by x. So here we are given a differential equation with variable equations. Now we are going to reduce this to a differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. And also we are given a Cauchy's equation. Solution. Given differential equation or given Cauchy's equation. x square d square minus 2xd plus 2 into y equal to x plus 1 by x. Right? Now let's make the substitution. Put x equals to e power z. Then log x to the base equals to z for x greater than 0. And let theta equals to d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator uh, with the independent variable z. And x d equals to theta. x squared d squared equals to theta of theta minus 1. Then the above equation becomes theta of theta minus 1 minus 2 theta plus 2 into y equal to replace this x by e power z will get e power z plus 1 by e power z. Right? Then theta into theta theta square minus theta minus 2 theta plus 2 into y equal to e power z plus reciprocal of e power z can be written as e power minus z. Right? Then theta square minus theta minus 2 theta is minus 3 theta plus 2 into z sorry y equals to e power z plus e power minus z which is a differential equation with variable equations and also this is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z which is in operator form. f of theta into y equals to q of z where f of theta equals to theta square minus 3 theta plus 2. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Now first we will find yc using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 right let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 3m plus 2 now our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Now split this minus 3m as minus 2m and minus m. We'll get m square minus 2m minus m plus 2 equal to 0. Now take m common from the first two terms. We'll get m times m minus 2 and take minus 1 common from the next two terms. We'll get m minus 1 times m minus 2 equals to 0. We notice that m minus 2 existing in both the terms. So let's take m minus 2 common. We'll get m minus 2 into m minus 1 equal to 0. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m minus 2 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 2. And from m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Right? Then m equals to 2 and 1 are the roots of our auxiliary equation. So here m equals to 2 and 1 are the roots of auxiliary equation which are real and distinct, right? Therefore, the roots are real and distinct. We know that when two roots are real and distinct, say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then yc looks like c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 e power another root 
into z. Now coming to our complementary function. y c equals to c1 e power 1 root into z plus c2 e power another root into z. Right? This equals to c1 e power 2z plus c2 e power z. Now we are having y c in terms of z but we need to write in terms of x by replacing e power z by x and z by log x. But we don't have any z here. Right? I mean terms involving z. We have only e power z, right? So, we'll replace e power z by x here. But before replacing e power z by x, we'll write e power 2z as e power z whole square plus c2 into e power z, right? Now, replace e power z by x, then we'll get c1 x square plus c2 x. Therefore, y c equals to c1 x square plus c to x. We got yc now. Let's find yp. Particular integral. We can find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We have f of theta and q of z, right? Where f of theta is theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 and q of z is e power z plus e power minus z. Now we can write this as 1 by f of theta into e power z plus 1 by f of theta into e power minus z. Now we will find each term separately. First one, 1 by f of theta into e power z. So this is of 1 by f of theta into e power a z form, right? We have f of theta, theta squared minus 3 theta plus 2. Always remember that the denominator must be non-zero. If we get the denominator 0, we'll get something like this, 1 by 0 into e power z. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so total term becomes undefined. So the denominator must be non-zero, right? Now, Compare e power z with e power az, then for a equals to 1, we'll find f of a, which is equals to f of 1. Just replace theta by 1, we'll get 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 2, which is equals to 1 minus 3 plus 2, which is equals to 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3, 0, right? The denominator is 0 by replacing theta by 1. So what we'll do, we'll just write one independent variable into 1 by, find the derivative of f of theta. If f of theta is theta square minus 3 theta plus 2, then f dash of theta will be 2 theta minus 3, right? Replace, I mean write f dash of theta in the denominator. Now check f dash of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, which is non-zero since... Since f dash of 1 is non-zero, so we'll replace theta by 1. Right? This equals to z into 1 by 2 minus 3 into e power z, which is equals to z into 1 by 2 minus 3 is minus 1 into e power z. Right? This becomes minus z e power z right now we have one in terms of z we need to write in terms of x so what we'll do we'll just replace e power z by x and z by log x then this becomes minus log x into x right we can also write this as minus x log x. So this is the result obtained from the first term. Now coming to the second term. 1 by f of theta into e power minus z. So this is a 1 by f of theta 
into e power a z form we have f of theta equals to theta square minus 3 theta plus 2 right now compare e power minus z with e power a z then for a equals to minus 1 we'll find f of a which is equals to f of minus 1 replace theta by minus 1 we'll get minus 1 whole square minus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 which is equals to 1 plus 3 plus 2 1 plus uh, 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 non zero since f of minus 1 is non zero so we can dare to replace theta by minus 1 in the denominator we'll get minus 1 whole square minus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 into e power minus z this equals to 1 by 1 plus 3 plus 2 into e power minus z which is equals to 1 by 6 into e power minus z right now we can write e power z as sorry e power minus z as e power z whole power minus 1 this is 6 okay because we are having second term in terms of z and we need to write in terms of x so that we can replace e power z by x here right now just replace e power z by x we'll get x inverse we know that x inverse is 1 by 1 by x which is equal to 1 by 6x so this is the result obtained for, from the second term okay now coming to the yp see this is not minus it's plus because we have 1 by 4 of theta into e power z plus e power minus z right which is equals to 1 by f of theta into e power z plus 1 by f of theta into e power minus z so here we get plus not minus fine now result obtained from the first term is minus x log x plus result obtained from the second term is 1 by 6x so this is our required yp so we got yp now and also we have yc let's write the general solution the general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc we have c1x square plus c2x and yp is minus x log x plus 1 by 6x this completes the problem so we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye